Hello, it's Mickey and Goofy. I don't know how good those voices are, but it's Jared Poland Fro knows photo.com i got to spend the day at wine library which is gary vayner chuck's store and uh he's from wine library tv.com so i got to take a lot of candid pictures for him uh doing uh let's see his live tapings of his show as two shows and just some candids before the show of the open house which was a tasting and other fares and wares and goods and other things are being sold. So I wanted to go over the details. You've seen the pictures now in the other slideshow, but I want to go through each picture and I want to talk about it and say what I think, or just so you get a feel of the technical aspects and what was on my mind when I shot this. So what I was going for here with the wine bottles was really just, and another note, as you can see up here, you can see all of the different settings and all my changes on the right hand side but i'm gonna leave the screen full so you can see everything i was going for you know just show some bottles and blow the background out um closer up wine bottle uh using the d3s 70 to 200 2.8 iso 5000 as the lights were interesting but i wanted to focus in and give gary an option for some uh, like uh, advertising shots, things that can be used that you never know where they can be used. It could be used as a banner on a on his wine websites. Um, so that's part of the composition. And, and again, everything here is shot raw. These are tweaked raw files in Lightroom 3, as well as nothing is cropped. They are, what you see here is exactly how I composed and framed it in the camera here uh using the 70 to 200 to focus in on one of the bottles to allow all of the other ones in the foreground and the background to go out of focus as well as leading lines to lead you in to the frame uh and to give you a uh, reference on how i t uh, pick black and white or color Whatever feels right, honestly, at that time when I'm making the correction is what I go with. So here's Gary talking with one of the patrons who was there for this event. And what was interesting is the person over here drinking the wine, uh, drinking out of a wine glass. That's that's cool. I didn't set it up that way, but that so happened to be there. I just like how the the, the wine glass guy drinking leads you into Gary and the subject. Black and white, person contemplating what to buy. There's so many choices there. And really, it's it's an amazing store. If you've never been there, it's kind of like a place you have to make a pilgrimage to if you are a wine aficionado or even, a, even somebody who's just starting to get into wine. I mean, I don't know very much about wine, but every one of his employees knows what they're talking about and will spend as much time as you need to educate you and to get you the right wine, which is awesome. Customer service first. So here, just think about what to get it, it this lended well to a black and white because there wasn't a lot of good color shot from a distance here i wanted to do a 14 to 24 to show all the different wines against the wall just a selection of people looking and and just you know a lot of wines a lot of black and white really makes it look interesting from this angle uh this gentleman came in from minnesota all uh, just for this event and you know i asked him permission first. I don't always ask, but you know, when I'm this close, I just want people to know, Hey, I'm going to take a couple pictures. Is that okay with you? And that wasn't a problem. So this is what I was going for. I was on the one side of the rack. I didn't want to get the, uh, the, 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 the templates, the, the paper, whatever, telling you what kind of wine it is in the way. Um, so I moved over to the left and that's where he was. And I wanted to show the wines in the bottom, which are leading you in, in this case, right in the middle, not rules of thirds here, just left and right in the middle because I like the symmetry of the wines in the bottom uh, drawing you into him. And then we go to a vertical as he was reading some of the wines and he also gave me some good information about the store uh, when I made a reference to it being like Barnes and Noble of wine stores. And he said, no, it goes well beyond that. He goes, they bring in wines that other people just can't get as well as, you know, pricing that other people can't get. So this was cool. This is what I was going for. And also there is a light right behind his head that I saw some flare coming through and I wanted to, I, I had to change my angle so that I didn't get any flare or some glow coming out from behind him. I wanted, I used his head, his body to block the lighting to make it a better picture. And we were going upstairs for a taping on the third floor and who's holding the door? Gary's holding the door for everybody. So I figured I would take a picture. Now, setting up, you got Mott, camera guy. Everybody seemed to love that guy. And uh, Gary getting ready to do his 
patented introduction and that's when I put on the 14 to 24 low angle you can see what is going on here he had a light obviously set up for doing video which is great and I was just you know I pre-visualized what I wanted I wanted to get the camera guy in there because he's an important part of of what Gary does because everybody you know he is a personality also and you know just the beginning it's cool to give a wide shot another wide shot in color you can see how Gary looks good in terms of color uh, but what the fluorescents are doing to everything else is throwing it off but that's why you know some of these are black and white um, but you know going through his intro I like the framing it's nice and even left to right angles are very nice you can see some of the people in the background and this was a live taping so here I use the 7200 VR2 and you can see how tack sharp this is this goes well beyond the old VR1 awesome and look at the color this was outside it was a gloomy day but that color blowing out of focus in the background really makes everything awesome I'll try to skip through these a little quicker here black and white of Gary just looking caught that moment well in a vertical shot you can see the framing I didn't cut any off didn't cut off the side of his head um, kept all the important things in here framed well his eyes are looking out it's nice and tack sharp and it worked well in black and white Moving on to the next one, he was making a you know interesting face at these guys, so I caught that and left it in color. And then here he's tasting it. Now, one of my major things is not cutting off into integral parts of a, of a photo. So here I cut off part of his hand, but I kept in all of the wine glass. And the focus to me here is right here, you know. He's in here dr doing a sniffy sniff of the wine. And moving on, color of this, you know, just, you know, thinking, what does this wine taste like? How cool is it? cool background blown out nice same thing here this is like the other one except it's a horizontal didn't cut off his hands you have everything to look at here rule of thirds composition thrown off to the side wanted to get him spitting the wine I just something that they do and I figured it would be great to uh, capture that I hope he likes it hope he doesn't mind um, there's a color one coming up later that I did uh, I think horizontally because I knew I already had one vertically and then I was going to get one horizontally. These are things that I thought of while shooting. Um, you're consciously always thinking about what shots do I already have and what shots don't I have because you don't want to constantly redo the same things. Look for other things going on. There was more than just Gary going on here. You have the camera guy, Mott. So I wanted to focus in on him shooting the video. Gar Behind the scene, you had, what, 40, 50 people back there and... This worked better in black uh, in color than black and white. Also, look up here at this light. If I metered in aperture priority or something else, the meter would have read for this big light spot right here, which would have thrown off my meter. But it's a good thing I was in manual. And then just showing Gary giving wine, 14 to 24. And then second taping, his father was in it. So I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to get Gary in focus with his father out of focus. I want to get his father in focus with Gary out of focus so that you can, you know, feel that they're connected. Capture his father smiling. Very, very good personality on all of them. Uh, here's this question, you know, inquisitive look, funny look, but I like stuff like this. And here, up, oh, what's going on here? Very cool figured I didn't have a, a, a shot of the wine being poured so I would throw one in there uh, same thing here just the interaction between the two the play how they help each other out and how they play off of each other and here I had one of Gary earlier sniffing now here's one of his father doing a sniffy sniff and it's just you know again black and white he's in the middle of the frame and the reason for that is Gary's on the right hand side so yeah, I still kept the important players in the picture leading you right into the center of the frame here there, I like this one. It's kind of like, is he spitting it out or is he drinking it out of a straw that doesn't exist? And we're almost at the end here. But here, I just like the eyes. Look at the eyes. Look at the, look at the catch lights in the eyes. So sharp. Just look at that. So sharp right there. I like to try to focus in on the closest eye. Again, I'm shooting at 3.5 here, which is giving me a little more leeway with my, with my focus. So I can lock in and still have this eye in focus, which is awesome to be able to do. And here, his dad was telling a story. I moved around to the front in anticipation at the end of something happening, like a hug, a kiss, um, some kind of interaction between the two. So I moved myself around, and there we go. We had a little bit of something going on there. I didn't get it as great as I wanted, but, you know, their faces got blocked off as they got closer, and that really wraps it up. So that's what's going through my mind when I'm shooting these pictures, and I hope 
that helps, you know, give you a little insight into what I'm thinking about, how I'm doing my composition, how I pick black and white versus color, and just what I'm looking for. So take what I am seeing or my composition and things like that and start, start thinking about it when you're out there shooting.